Hi guys, I've got another PCGS submission today in the mail and uh, this uh, set of coins, there's not many coins here, there's probably about 12 coins. I uh, was kind of hastily put together uh, during the coin show, my local coin show, I brought them down there myself, saved on some shipping, but I wasn't really prepared to do that and so I just brought uh, uh, a few, uh, not a lot of coins, but anyway, most of them are... Uh, a 1962 proof set I'm just learning about cameo effect and I've got a couple uh, proof sets different years and I noticed that uh, the odd coin and a couple of them look like they're cameo but there's uh, you know I noticed maybe one coin in one set looks cameo another coin in another set looks cameo so I wanted to have at least one complete set that that had some cameo coins in it and I noticed I have a couple of 62 sets. I don't know why, but uh, I kind of cherry-picked the, the sets I've got uh, to try and get five coins that are cameo. So I submitted those coins, and I realized that they're not, the value of the coins is not even probably worth the, the money I spent to grade them. But uh, it's just a learning thing for me. I want to try and see, learn how to recognize cameo coins and... and uh, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, those are five of those coins or that. And I've got about four other uh, different coins that are kind of interesting. And I'll just show them to you as I open the box. And uh, afterwards, I've got a couple recent uh, pickups of some kind of interesting things. And uh, we'll go over that. But uh, let me get to, this, get to this. I'll open the box and we'll get going. All right, guys, let's start with this uh, 1962 proof set that I'm hoping to get cameo designations on this. Let's see. Now, it's a little difficult to tell, but you can look at these things and see that I'm, I mean, that looks cameo to me, <laughs> but I'm far from an expert. So I think this looks pretty clean. And what do you think? Looks cameo and it looks to me 66. I mean everything I've I think I, all I've got here I think are gonna, in my opinion, are like a 66. So let's see what this thing goes 67 cameo very nice that's good like I said these are not high value coins there's tons of these cameos I mean they're not everything's not a cameo but these are much more prevalent than the early 50s for sure but I'm just learning to recognize them and I'm happy that that was a cameo and I could see it <laughs> let's try the uh, the quarter saying 1962 I mean don't look at the fields on that I mean that just still looks beautiful to me I really love this cameo effect I, I once you recognize it you really fall in love with it and there's a problem because it just jacks the price of everything sky high uh, it's better not to recognize it and just enjoy the coins for the way they are. The one thing is, though, the cameo has to be on both sides of the coin for them to designate it a cameo. You can't have one side cameo and the other side not because they won't designate it as cameo. This reverse, to me, is a little iffy. I don't know if this is a true full cameo. It's a nice coin, but... The front is for sure, to me, a cameo. All right, let's try it. I'll see this. You know, I think this one might not make it because of the reverse. Let's see. 68. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. That's a fantastic score. But look at the fields. I don't know if you can see. They just look... It's hard to see it, but it just looks like water oh there's little spots finally you can see it but what a nice coin 
That's a great coin. Now let's try the dime. All right, this one. This is Cameo 2, right? Or no, I, I think it is. Look at the reverse. The reverse is also... Looks nice to me. I don't know. I'm going to go again with the 66. Let's see. 67. Wow. The later... <laughs> I'm wrong on these because the I think they give higher scores to to newer coins and 62 is not very old. Anyway, wow, that's pretty impressive. I'm I'm doing well. Let's try the nickel. I also noticed I don't have a penny. I thought there was a penny here and there there isn't. So there's just these. I mean that's a nice looking nickel. Gosh, look at that fields on that that just look at that what a great effect I mean the cameo is just so impressive to me look at that beautiful that's that's a nice coin I mean that one's if all the rest are 67s this this can't be less than that let's see 68 deep whoa d cam deep cameo this is a nice coin i i, I didn't i don't know about deep cam that's moving off farther than than i'm going now wow what a beautiful coin that's just a great effect all right now this next one i'm trying to put together the point of this is a 1950 proof set with all cameo coins now that's the problem with that is it's expensive and the number one expensive coin is this half dollar to get one of these in a 66 cameo is five thousand bucks and that's that's out of my league so I got this one for for a lot less and I'm just hoping that it will grade somewhere up there but I know it's not a 66 it's it's hard for you to see probably I, I believe it's a cameo, but I don't think this is, you know, it's just not a 66. They're so expensive. So maybe if I could start with this one and eventually find one somewhere. The back looks nice. I mean, it's a nice looking coin, this coin, but I don't know. This looks like 65, 64. Just the fields aren't as you know, liquid like the other one. I don't know. All right, let's try. This is the big money one, though. Ugh. Let's see. Come on, 60. Oh, 65. No cameo. Oh, no. Oh, that's not a cameo. These guys are tough. Ah. That sure looks like Cameo to me. They just do not. I can't believe that. They didn't think this was a Cameo? Wow. I'm, I'm surprised. Too bad. They gave, gave me the 65. But no Cameo. Oh, this 1950 is a killer. Hmm. All right, well, that's kind of disappointing, but uh, the other coins were good, the ones that don't have any value. All right, I got a couple uh, pickups here, and I sent them in for grading. They're kind of something interesting. This is a commemorative. And let's see. An 1892. Columbus. Commemorative. I like the, the ship. That's why I got this. I just think it's a cool ship. And it's got great toning. It's hard to tell maybe with, on the, the video, but this is a great, really nice toned kind of a coin. It's 
it's kind of goldish, but you, you can't, it's hard to tell. I don't know, this thing's been circulated or what? I, I This is hard, this has got to be, I think this is circulated. I think this thing's like an AU coin, let's see. Oh, Columbus, there you go. Oh, MS, 62, how nice, I'm surprised. It's just a little bit beat up, I guess, for an MS coin. I mean, it's nice, not not really beat up, but it's not super clean. I love that design though. Wow. Really cool. Okay. Now I'm going to show you we got a couple Morgan dollars. This is one I bought when I was just starting out and I just wanted a Morgan dollar that wasn't beat up and this one really looked nice. Boy, there's a lot of glare on that. This thing shines like crazy. Wow, it's a big coin. I'm going to get this thing back a little bit. But it looks nice. This doesn't have tons of bag marks. It's just a clean, a clean, clean coin. It's not any kind of special date. It's a common day, but it's just a clean coin. And I have it sitting out here on my desk, and I thought I'm going to put it in for grading just to see what they think it is. If it gets like a 64, I'll be happy. Wow, this is a big coin. It can't even fit in there. All right, let's see. 1882S. MS65. Cool. That luster. Beautiful. All right. Got one more silver dollar. And this one's a Carson City. 1891 Carson City. It's got some interesting toning too, kind of like purple up there in the upper right. But it's, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, strike is not super good on this or it's been circulated or, yeah, it's, I don't know. It doesn't look like, I mean, the, the breast feathers on here don't look bad. It's got a nick in it. See that nick right there in the center of his chest. All right. Hmm. I don't know. It's a nice coin, though. Let's see. What do you think? It's an MS coin. AU fifty-three. Wow, that's down there. I guess it's been around. <laughs> nice coin. Anyway, all right, I've got one that I really like. I, I saw a video the other day from Rich Cali. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He's got a lot of really cool coins. And he did a uh, video on uh, wood grain uh, toning on pennies. And so I just went out and I saw this thing. And I, this is a beautiful coin. Look at the toning on this thing. I mean, this is just, I don't have one of these V nickels. And this thing to me is gorgeous. Look at that toning. Ah, oh, just fantastic. I really like this coin. Look at that. Just gold. And wood. I mean, it's luster like crazy. I know what this grade is, of course. I bought this, but just so you guys can. It's got a cack sticker on it, too, so... You guys can guess what you think this is. It's just a beautiful coin. Look at that. Fantastic. Anyway, I know what it is. You guys can see what you think it is. It's a 64. MS 64. So cack like it, so it's probably a high 64 or 65. But anyway, this coin uh, books, the book value of this coin is about, at 64, at PCGS has it 200 bucks. At 65, they bump it up to 400 bucks. So it's somewhere in between two and 400 bucks. I paid 275 for it, and I'm happy to pay every penny. Look at that. Oh, I just really like this coin. Anyway, all right, I've got um, one other thing I picked up real quick. And this is a not a, not an expensive thing. Let me move this back a little bit. 
It's a proof set from Panama, 1968. And I just think it's really cool. I like it. This one's actually a, a silver, real silver dollar, 90%. And the half is a 40 percenter. But they use the same planchets for American coins. All the same size. Sorry for the glare. But I really like this holder. It's a clear holder. You can see the edges. It's in super good shape. It's almost like glass. But look at the design on the back of these things. I just really like that beautiful coins a little bit of toning on the on the edges of these of the two big ones great design classic design I think it's cool anyway that was cheap they didn't charge me hardly anything for that I guess they're not uh, too sought after but anyway this is another little thing my dad gave me and uh, he said he got this from his father my grandfather and this is actually tokens I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. I didn't know. I took one out and put it in a little, in a little uh, OPA stands for Office of Price Administration. In World War II, I don't know if you can see this. They were rationed. They rationed everything in World War II, and they gave you these stamps, and uh, to get uh, like uh, canned goods, meats, sugar, coffee, tires, gas, many things, you had to have these stamps to buy them. And when you turned in the stamps, they would give these points back as change. So you could use red points and blue points, and uh, the red ones were used for um, meats and fats, like butter, and the blue ones were for processed foods. But it's kind of interesting. He gave me a whole box of these things. And he says, you better look in there close. There might be something else in there. And I'm digging around and look. <laughs> look what he, he put in there. How about a little gold nugget, huh? Interesting. Nice. Thanks, Pop. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't think this was my grandfather's. My dad. <laughs> My dad put that in there. But anyway, these aren't worth very much. They're like 40 cents a piece. But this one's kind of a rare one. It has an M and an M on it. So it's worth like 10 bucks. But I thought they're cool. Anyway. All right, guys. That's about it for this time. Next, I submitted a, a much larger uh, submission for PCGS in the mail. And that's going to be really interesting when it comes back. And I'm looking forward to that. So that'll have a lot more uh, interesting stuff in it. Thanks for watching, guys.